Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and I've got another tutorial inside of Photoshop for you today. This time we're going to be making a marble texture from scratch. Our end product is going to look something like this. And I'll sh also show you how to create uh, just a simple marble effect and how to do colored marble as well. So let's get started. Alright, the first thing you need to do is open up Photoshop and create a new document. For our example, we're going to be using a 1200 by 1200 pixel canvas uh, in portrait mode with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch in RGB color mode. And if you're printing this, make sure that you're using a higher resolution, 300 uh, pixels per inch and CMYK color are pretty standard for print. Uh, but again, check with your printer to get the exact requirements for them. Okay, so uh, we're working with a brand new document with a white background. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is unlock our background layer. And all you have to do is click on the little uh, lock right there and that'll unlock the layer for you. And then we're going to set our colors to default and you do that here. Uh, with this little icon right above your uh, color, your foreground and background colors. The first thing we're going to do is go to the Filters tab. We're going to go to Render. And we're going to choose Difference Clouds for this one. And you're going to see this kind of cloudy effect. Okay, now we're going to go back in and apply that same difference clouds filter one more time. So anytime you apply a filter, the last filter that you used is gonna be right here at the top. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply it one more time. And you can apply that filter as many times as you need until you get the desired effect. Uh, for us, what we're looking for is this veining quality. So you'll start to see it like a distinct line or veining coming through inside the clouds. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to stop here. But again, you can do this as many times as you like to get a, a more unique look for your projects. Once we have something that we're happy with, we're going to uh, come up here to image and we're going to go to adjustments and all the way down to equalize. So this is just going to give you a higher contrast between your darks and your light. So you'll have um, clear, clear black and white. But mainly we're just trying to achieve a stronger contrast between the light and the dark. To achieve an even stronger contrast, we're going to go back in to image adjustment. And we're going to adjust the levels as well. Now I'm going to bring it. Uh, up to about here and you see how you start to get a very distinct line here that's what we're looking for I still like to see the clouds in there so I'm not going to take it I'm not going to take the contrast up all the way up here I'm going to leave mine down here that is just a preference um, but if you want it to be a cleaner veining then definitely take it up a little bit more and I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to duplicate that layer. Um, the way I do it is I'll, I'll hold down the Option or Alt key. Um, just drag that layer down one. So when you see, you'll see the little arrows come up. You just drag it down and it'll duplicate the layer. You can also come here to layers at the top and then just duplicate layer as well or <laughs> uh, you can just right click on the layer and duplicate layer there we're going to uh, make some adjustments to this top layer the first thing we're going to do is change the mode of the layer we're going to change it from normal to screen and then we've got something like this. 
Now we're getting a very, very distinct veining and that's not what we want. That's not what uh, marble looks like naturally. So what we're gonna do is with that top layer selected, we're gonna go to edit, transform, and we're gonna rotate the image just um, to break up some of the veining there. So now you've got something that looks uh, very much like marble. We're gonna take it a little bit further, grab both layers, and then I'm gonna right click and then choose Merge Layers. So now I have just one layer. Now this is gonna be our base layer. Now from this base layer, there are several things that you can do to customize your marble texture even further. Uh, your first option would be to change the colors of your veining by creating a new fill layer. So we're gonna come down here um, and choose, okay, I'm gonna choose a nice uh, blue color, maybe a little more green. So this is a good color, just click OK. Okay, and we're going to add another fill layer on top of that. Another solid color fill layer on top of that. And with this one, let's see, we'll get something a little bit darker. Click OK. Now, depending on the mode that you use for these fill layers, it's going to affect the bottom layer differently. So we're going to change the the mode of this top layer uh, to screen. Let me turn that one off. Now you can see here that that top layer uh, with the the mode changed to screen has changed the color of the veining. So this top layer is going to control. the vein color and this is going to control the background color. Okay, so we don't have this applied yet. Um, I'm going to turn it back on and we're going to change the color mode there to multiply. Now you can see how it's changed and we might want this a little bit lighter. Uh, try to keep your background color um, very light. Uh, choose uh, pastel colors. But your background should be a lighter color and your veining should be a darker color. And you can change the colors here uh, just by double clicking inside here. And, and you can change the background color and get a completely different effect here. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that. We'll go ahead and leave it this color. Now the second way to change this a little bit is to add a little bit more dimension. Maybe add more uh, of a metallic look. Now doing this is a little bit more complicated but it's definitely worth it. It, it looks really nice. So what we're going to do is select this uh, bottom layer, the base layer. And with this layer selected, we're going to go up to the select menu up here and we're going to choose color range. Now, instead of choosing an actual color range, what we're going to do is select just the midtones. Um, you can select highlights, which is going to get everything that's very light. And you can select shadows, which is going to get only the very darkest parts here. But I'm looking for something in between. Um, I'd like to still be able to see the very darkest parts. I think it, it's going to give it a lot more dimension. So we're going to stick with midtones, and I'm going to click OK. So now we have a selection on our bottom base layer, and we're going to add a new layer. You can do that by coming down to the bottom and just clicking on this little paper icon down there. Now what we've got right here is a blank layer. Inside that blank layer, we're going to add some color. But because we have all of this selected, it's, the 
program is only going to add a color to that selection, which is exactly what we want. So with this layer selected, we're going to click Command or Control on your keyboard and Backspace or Delete. So on, on a Mac, it will be Command Delete and on a PC, it will be Control Backspace. Click Command D uh, to deselect that. Okay, so this doesn't look very good right now, but what we're going to do is add another texture inside of this. We're going to be using the gold specs that we uh, created in our gold uh, textures video. So if you'd like to see how to create this gold, you can definitely check out that video as well. We're going to go to File, Place Embedded, and I'm going to grab my gold. I can put it here on the desktop. There it is. Let me turn off this color so that we can see it. So now what I've got is an image um, laid over top of my texture. And I want to add it to this image right here. So I'm going to I'm going to turn this off so that you can see. And it's kind of hard to tell. You may not be able to see it on screen. But in fact, what I'm going to do is um, select it again. And I'm going to change the color to black just so that you can see it just a little bit more. Uh, but this is this was the selection that we made and we created a whole new layer for it. Now with this image uh, that we placed on the top, we're going to hold down the Option or Alt key on the keyboard. And when you see that little arrow, that's going to create a clipping mask once you click on your mouse button. So just click on the mouse button and that just created a whole bunch of gold flake. So now what you've got is a marble image with a nice gold flake dimension in there and it looks absolutely beautiful. You can, we're going to grab this veining and we're going to put it on our base layer. So you've got that nice blue, but it's not going to affect this gold here. Let's put this um, also with the base. And you can change this to um, a pretty much any color. And uh, if you zoom in a little bit, you can see all of the detail that you get with um, this style that was creating a marble text effect in Photoshop from scratch. If you like this marble texture, you can download this one as well. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to have this uh, particular marble texture uh, free for download on my website. So make sure you head on over to prettywebs.com to pick that up. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more design tips for business owners. And head over to my website at prettywebs.com for even more tips, resources, and free graphics. Until next time, thanks for watching.